There is a lot of confusion out there of what some of the drugs that have been trialed and tested, if they work, if they don't work, if there's a chance that they'll work in the future. What do we know about remdesivir? So remdesivir has had um, a couple of reports out this week. Um, one report from the NIH has shown that there's some significant promise of that treatment and that if it's given early enough in the course of infection, it seems to improve the time in which people uh, get better and can leave the hospital. Um, a report out of China has suggested it was less successful, but it looks like those patients were being treated much later in the disease process at a time when it's not just the virus that's causing damage, but it's also your immune response to the infection that's causing damage. So I would say there's cautious optimism right now with remdesivir, uh, but it certainly does seem like it's going to be a treatment that is probably more effective the sooner one gets it rather than if it's later in the infection process. What do you think will be a real game changer? So we talk about having apps. I know there are concerns about, of course, you know, personal information, but that could you know, let you get in contact with people that have been touched or have been in, in close contact with someone who is COVID-19 positive. There's also antibody testing. What will be a real game changer of you know, saving lives, but also um, getting people to get out of the lockdown? Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, I think the, the better we are at treating individuals and getting them out of the hospital uh, to free up resources, that's going to be one important thing. Because what that will do is that will free up uh, more medical resources, it'll free up testing resources, and that'll allow us to switch to this sort of late phase of dealing with the pandemic. Um, we have a lot of hope for antibody tests. Um, over the next couple of weeks, we should get some idea of whether or not antibodies, or what kind of antibodies are mediating protection from reinfection. And once we know that, we can really go after people in the population and identify people who should have a higher resistance to infection. And that will then really allow us to come forward with um, a much more detailed plan for how to open up our economy and loosen some of the public health interventions that, we're, that most of the world is currently under. Uh, Andrew, in 20 seconds, are we going to be much wiser about this virus in two months, two months or will it take longer? Two months, we will know uh, uh, incredibly more about the virus, in particular how we treat it and um, how we respond to it.